We assume as shoppers that we are getting what we pay for when we're at the grocery store. Right, but we found out that's not always the case with grocery store scales. Amy Frazier checked with state inspectors and uh, tell us what you found. Dan, here's what I found out. When store scales are off, inspectors tell me it's usually not malicious, but it can affect your pocketbook. Hi there. I'm Josh Nelson I'm with the state of Oregon, here to test and certify your scales today. You do find that scales are sometimes off in grocery stores. Yes, they are. Yes. Yeah, they're off uh, frequently. We met State Inspector Nelson at a local grocery store. This is our 30 pound weight kit. We call them standards. To find out what the Oregon Department of Agriculture is doing throughout Oregon to monitor and make sure you're getting what you pay for at grocery stores. It can uh, fail. When scales are off, it can go either way, favoring the shopper or the store. And when I go up to it, I just assume that it's going to be accurate. Yeah. Large stores sometimes have more than 50 scales licensed with the state of Oregon. So if a scale uh, does not pass the inspection, the test, then we do have some actions that we take. We'll issue uh, repair orders, um, which give they and them an amount of time to repair the scale. If it's out of tolerance or inaccurate enough that uh, it's impacting the consumer, um, then we will take it out of service. During this visit, the scales were right on, but I also wanted to know about more typical unannounced yearly inspections. They will typically have uh, a few rejections in a store with a, a number of scales. I requested some state records and found out one inspector issued repair tags for 18 total scales at 12 Portland area grocery stores during December alone. Problems are usually caused by wear and tear. Just in a, a short period of time through use, um, they can they can go out of calibration. As a customer, there are some things you can watch for. Check that the weight is plainly displayed. Watch that the scale starts at zero or less than zero if there's a container. The weight of the container or tear should be subtracted from the total weight. And lastly, inspectors say, look for the weights and measures sticker showing the scale is licensed, tested, and approved. Now, the Weights and Measures program is funded through state licensing fees. About six years ago, Oregon cut an additional program which had inspectors double checking the weight of items on store shelves, like a prepackaged steak. They're planning to encourage lawmakers to bring that program back in 2015. We'll keep you posted. Jenny? Very interesting.